Okay, so this is a modification for Quake 1. Uh, I'm running the uh, Dark Places engine, which has some very nice dynamic lights and whatnot. But anyway, this modification is primarily a weapons modification. Uh, if you want to find out what mods are and you uh, want to, you know, uh, find out how to program things, there's tons of tutorials online. You know, you can go on Google. Uh, you know, it's I, I, I enjoy modding because it's, well, it's more fun than just playing the game. You know, you can make the game into something totally new and different. And Quake's a good old game to uh, very easy to modify. Um, there's a lot of potential uh, to, to put in changes. So anyway, uh, this shotgun here has four shells in the clip, semi-automatic, so the faster you pull the trigger, the faster you'll shoot. And the, sh the, the gun will auto-reload itself. Now if you score four direct hits in a row, you, if you fire off all four shots in a row and you score Four, you know, four direct hits, meaning 75% of your pellets each time will strike the target. Um, you score a critical hit, which does double damage. And this one, if you do the same thing but at point blank range, you have to, like you have to be at point blank. It does quadruple damage, but it shoots a lot slower now. And if you're not at point blank, it's pretty much like a regular shotgun. So two very, very different weapons. This one can do criticals at a medium distance, and this one can't. Um, this one does criticals up close, but and it's much more economical. But uh, it eats, it, 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 you know, it, it um, you have to put yourself in grave danger whenever you want to use it. Um, there's the uh, the super nail gun. The faster you shoot, so you you wind the thing up. It starts to consume ammunition a lot faster. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's it's a different again a very different gun, um, and this one. I didn't ta I didn't have to change this one at all. So so now every single one of these guns fulfills a different function. It's not just a better version of this gun or a better version of that gun. And finally, there's the um, the, the, the grenade launcher. So you've got that clip of four as well. I call this the spammer's delight. Pretty fun. So yeah. Anyway, that's uh, the oops. Let's uh let's let's get a game going. So I'm gonna reload my game and let's play. Oops, so that's that. Here we go. The reason I haven't put this game online is because uh I've got a lot of sounds which are coming out of Quake 4 and Doom 3. All games which I own legal copies of. Um Also I have Doom, sounds from Doom. Well Doom 2, that's that's where the uh, sound for this uh, shotgun comes from. That's why I don't put it online. Nice shot. See, it doesn't do much damage from here. It takes several shots. Now across there, I'll use this shotgun. Oops. There, I score the critical hit there. There we go. Yeah, he's toast. Now, you can't pick up am ammunition if you're reloading the gun or you've shot recently, nor can you heal. So the idea is that you can't pick up stuff in the middle of a battle. And you notice that how the healing works? You have to sit on top of things. Okay, let's try and critical hit these guys. Oh yeah. Oops. Very risky. You need cover. Oop. But so rewarding. And yeah, I know, not necessarily the most realistic thing in the world, but uh it's just fun. It's just so much fun when you can land those critical hits. And it means that every time you use a weapon, you know, you don't just shoot at the target. You, there's there's sort of a tactical element to it. Um, that you try to use it in its you try to use the weapon to its it, to the, to its best advantage. You know, like um, this one you use it exclusively close up. And this one you use at mid-range, but you know if you have the chance to do a critical up close, you know then you'll switch to this gun. It means that every single weapon has a very, very different purpose. And this is one of the troubles I have with a lot of uh, IDs games is that they'll give you eight different weapons or nine different weapons, and a lot of them all do the same thing. They're all just, you know, they they all have singular purpose. 
they gotten a little better recently, but, you know, you'll find that there's a lot of these games that have, you know, nine different weapons that you carry, and they all do the same thing. Okay. Spammer's Delight. Oops. Oop. That was unexpected. One of the things that, that always annoyed me about Quake was that... Ouch. Ah. Yeah, because this gun shoots a lot slower, so... So they can get uh, in and wing you. That's the thing, is that this gun is not good for crowds. It's good for the one guy that you can come up to and smack him really hard. But it's not good when there's uh, a lot of guys. I'm only playing at hard, by the way. It takes two critical hits to kill those guys. Would you believe that I've been modding Quake for like, ever since it came out? This is one of my. Le this is probably my most least elaborate mod. But the reason I made this mod was because I wanted to. Well, I got Quake on my DS. Someone made Quake DS, and I, I managed to. I made a mod I, I wanted, you know, especially for the DS, with a bit more of an arcade slash RPG element. Ouch! Because I remember playing, you know, games like Fallout, two, uh, Fallout Three. I had so much fun with the old critical hits and, you know, concentrated fire. And I wanted something like that. You know, the whole sneak attack. You have to get up close. So there's a tool for every job. In this, uh, and, and I think what I'd like to say is that for any kind of first-person shooter, you know, they should try and adopt this sort of... this sort of stance rather than just having the better shotgun. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oops. See, in that situation, I'd use it up close. Oh, he's, he must be close, so I'll use it. Ow. Yeah, you know, it's... it's Every single one of these weapons, yes, it has... It does a lot of damage. And you might think that it's overpowered. But it's important to realize that every single one of these weapons comes with uh, its inherent risks. I mean, this gun, which has the most reward, has the greatest risk. Um, this one has considerably less risk. It's much easier to use. But then it consumes ammunition. Uh, it's not nearly as efficient as this one. This is probably the riskiest gun to use, this uh, double barrel shotgun. Ouch, 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 because if you miss your shot, you know, you're out for, you know, one and a half seconds and not being able to shoot again. And then I've got the, uh, the rocket launcher. I've slowed down the rate of fire. This is, this, this is as fast as it fires. It's extra slow. And the reason I did that is because now direct hits will do double damage. Kill those guys in one shot. But then it shoots really slow. So again, this thing is has, is much different from the grenade launcher. It will do the grenade launcher does fulfills a totally different role. Yeah, see, it's you can soften him up, get close, and dose him. Like that oh, he didn't die, so. that's that's the idea. Is that you want to have this sort of a Wow. And again, there's that whole thing where you don't heal unless you stop shooting. So, no healing while you're in the middle of a fight. And it's easy to lose track of your health in a situation like that. So, that's the game. <laughs>